As you can see, I'm set up here with the goblet sitting on a reflective black aluminum and with a velvet background that is non-reflective with the Olympus OMD1 Mark II set up and pre-focused in manual on that goblet. We will be setting it to composite mode and composite mode is on this camera you go to the longest time. The longest time that you can get on this camera, 60 seconds, followed by bulb, time, and live composite. And you can see it's telling me to take a shot. If I press the button, it's now ready to do composite shooting. If I press the shutter button again, it's actually taking pictures. And you can see down here in the corner, it's counting up, one, five, six, seven, and it'll keep going until I add some light. I'm gonna go back to the goblet, and I'm going to add a little bit of light to the goblet. To accept the changes in the extra light that's been added, I just press the shutter button again and I come up with this beautiful image after a little camera raw adjustment for spot removal this is what it looks like as well as the goblet I also used another image this wooden block with a letter on it sitting in the same spot with the same lighting turn the lights in the room off and the only thing that the camera takes in repetitive pictures is the added light to the original. The nicest part of live composite mode is you can watch the process of the additional light being added without the original image being blown out and it is stacked together inside the camera as the raw image. I'm providing another example with some still items, a rose and a loon and showing you that I'm sitting at f16 which makes the original image very very dark and then I'm applying a small white light from a, a small flashlight to the image and watching it progress on the screen until I'm happy with the outcome both the lighting of the original image and the reflection and once then it's completed, I just press the shutter button to stop the process and it post processes them in camera to a raw image. And I'll show you the outcome as I processed in camera raw. The only processing that was required for this image after the fact was camera raw, some light and dark settings and some cropping and some dust removal. I have yet another example, a small glass jar that was picked up in China, hand painted by a Chinese lady and I'm processing this the same as I did all the other stills same f16 setting in live composite mode lights were out in the room I pre-focused in manual and press the button once for a base image which is dark and press it again for it to start the process it continues to take images only adding additional light provided by flashlight that I a piece of paper over it to kind of limit the amount of light I was putting on this small object. Once again, it turned out to be a fantastic image and the end process in camera created a raw image which I then processed with some light and dark and some dust removal in camera raw. It turned out fantastic.
This small glass object is only about two inches tall, but it sure creates a real nice reflection in that black aluminum. And as I stated before, all of this is created by the camera in camera as a raw image. Thank you for watching.